In Atlanta, a city that's trending blue, but in a state that hasn't picked a presidential Democrat since Bill Clinton, and with a coveted African-American population that the president attempted just two weeks ago to tap into with his Black Voices for Trump coalition, there is understandably some sorting out to do. For Democrats across the country, there's been a bit of a shift lately. Our campaign now has skyrocketed, or I shouldn't say skyrocket, that's not me. Uh, we have gradually improved. It's become a shell game, especially in Iowa, which will have a first say and right now says Pete Buttigieg is on the rise. You know, uh, starting with Labor Day, I felt a level of energy at the steak fry that, that told us that uh, we had a chance to really connect. The newest numbers show Buttigieg, Bernie Sanders and Amy Klobuchar moving up, Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden slipping slightly. Pollsters say it shows significant voter flexibility. But there's still a long way to go. There's still a lot of time for somebody else to, to gain some ground. All of that means the debate could be critical to surges and slumps, and front runners will take more heat. It's a bad track record with black voters. Are we really going to risk putting somebody at the top of the ticket who is not going to excite a big part of our base? And while the field is usually thinning this time of year, it's growing since former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick jumped in. So what makes you different and better than the competition? The biggest challenge for Democrats here, though, may just be getting enough attention with so much of the focus back in Washington and on those impeachment hearings. In Atlanta, I'm Scott Thuman.